Hello everybody, it's Pavo, and welcome back to Doodle Creatures, the game where we combine animals and genes in order to create new animals. Okay, so as always, I have a list of suggestions that people have left in the comments that I'm going to go ahead and put into the game and see if they bring back any results. And I also have another list of things I know will work, and today we're going to be trying to work on getting all the marine animals. So we'll get straight into the game. We're at 79%, we are almost at the end, which is just just under uh, four-fifths. So yeah, we'll get straight in. Okay, so the list that I have here, uh, the first one was suggested by Eagle Lord, and that is to try antelope and furry. And I'm not too sure what I would give. Uh, he suggested maybe a moose, so I think I think I could see that happening. So, antelope and furry. Unfortunately, no, it didn't do anything. And we might as well go to the mutants to see if they have any uh, genes for us. Oops, I should have clicked go to, shouldn't I? How do I go go to them? Um, they're on this main page here. So, I'm just going to take all these genes out. Uh, should, probably should have done this beforehand because it's very tedious. And I'm sure there's a way to actually expand these gene um, pods like using the pills that you get. I have six of them at the moment. I'm not sure how you get them, uh, but I have six. Um, okay, so I'll just take all of these. There's also another one there, and I'm not sure what I can do with that, whether it's for a gene that I have not let, not yet made a mutant for. Uh, but we'll see, so we'll get back to the game. Yeah, so antelope and furry didn't work. The next one is from Panda Gaming, and he suggested horse and horned. And we'll give that a go. I'm not sure whether we tried that before, because we were trying to get the unicorn, which it turns out we actually already have. So we don't need to do that. Um, now, which one would the horse be in? Was it in this one? Uh, no was in this one horn yes it was so horse and horned so we'll give that a go it's given us something oh yeah that that's given us a unicorn okay um that's another way to get a unicorn because i don't remember doing that before or did we i don't remember it's been too long ago is that how we got the unicorn i don't remember but we also have some genes here that i'm just going to collect i don't remember what it was that we put in the scanner um, but I'll put some random creature in. What about cassowary? We'll put the cassowary in. Okay, and the next two are from Ido, uh, and they su suggested um, squirrel and social. Um, so which one would squirrel be in? Is it this one? I think it is. So squirrel and social. Um, I was gonna say like some sort of like maybe. I was going to say meerkat, but that, that, those aren't the right genes to give like a meerkat. Um, so squirrel and social. Where is social? I can't see it. Oh, it's down the bottom here. Now that hasn't given us anything. That's just given us another mutant. And then the next one was beaver and predator. So we'll give that one a go. <clears throat> uh, beaver and predator. Where is predator? Down here. No, that hasn't given us anything. So there's no more space. Oh, I'm just going to release that one. Okay, and the last one that was suggested in the most recent comments was from Snack Portraits, and I love that name. Um, squirrel and Marsupial. And let's give that a go. Squirrel and Marsupial. Oh, that hasn't given us anything. Um, if I could combine just genes themselves, I'm pretty sure a meerkat would be like Marsupial and Social. Uh, we don't have a meerkat already, do we? No. Okay, so we'll get onto the things that I know do work at the marine animals so we want to open up um, this screen here this is the marine animals we actually have 102 animals out of 132 at the top so the first one is grampus and domestic and um, I don't know I was gonna say an orca but an orca is a grampus and a grampus is a killer whale and a killer whale is an orca so I'm not sure um, I was gonna I don't know uh, but we'll give that a go, a domestic grampus. It's given us a dolphin. Okay, so dolphins are able to recognise themselves in a mirror. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we'll scan the dolphin. Um, dolphin, dolphin. 
And the next one is, if we can get back to Walrus and Furry. And I'm not too sure what that's going to give us. Um, maybe some sort of seal? I don't know, but we'll give it a go. Walrus and Furry. That, that word is so difficult for me to say. Walrus. Walrus. Uh, walrus and Furry. Oh yeah, it gave us a seal. So, it's a fur seal. A well-developed undercoat and layer of fat allows seals to survive in icy water. Okay, okie dokie. So, Dolphin gave us... What was that one? Jumping and social? Oh, and uh, aquatic. I will put the seal in. Okay, and the next one is... Um, manatee and Predator. So... I don't know. These suggestions are quite uh, confusing. Manatee and Predator. I don't know, but we'll give it a go. I was going to say like another shark, but we already have a shark. Oh, a seal. Just a seal. So harp seals are able to dive up to depths of... Let's try this again. Harp seals are able to dive to depths of up to 200 meters in search of food. Okay, so we'll, we will scan this one as well. Okay. So seal and seal. So they have two genes each. They're going to take 20... I don't know what that said. 23 seconds. But we'll get into the next one, which is... We actually need... Um, I know the dolphin's in this one, isn't it? Dolphin and big. And that... It should give us a whale, maybe? I don't know, but we'll see. Yes, a whale. So whales come from, how do I pronounce this word? Pagicetus, small dog-like terrestrial animals. What, really? Really? That seems really bizarre to me. Um, but okay, so we'll take those out. We'll scan the whale. And the whale will actually help us unlock these next, uh, these next two. So we have whale and horned, and I'm pretty sure that's going to give us a nar narwhal or a narwhal. Um, so we'll give that a go. Whale and horned. It has. Oh wow, there's a a bigger description here. Narwhal tusks can grow to be two to three meters long and are twisted along their entire length, though they are rarely used to attack or defend. They are sensory organs that determine water temperature and pressure. That is very interesting. I had no idea. I did think that they were used to attack and defend. Because why else would you have the, the horn? But that explains why else. Uh, to determine water temperature and pressure. Okay, so um, what did we just scan? Was it a whale? It's going us big and aquatic. And we'll go ahead and we'll scan the narwhal. Narwhal. I'm forever going to get that wrong. Uh, and the last one in this category is Whale and Predator. And I don't know what that one's going to give us. Because um, as I said, we've already got a shark. Mm. We'll give it a go though. So Whale and Predator. A cachalot. I have no idea what that is. But adults can reach almost 20 meters in length and weigh just under 100 tons. I have no idea what a cachalot is. That is a, a cool sounding name, but which I've never heard before. Uh, so I'm going to have to go look up what that is as soon as I end this episode. So yes, these genes, we've got horned and we've got aquatic. And we'll go ahead and we'll just scan this cachalot. Uh, we now have 108 out of 132 animals. Uh, how many of these are complete? We've got one, that one's not complete, we've got, uh, that one is, um, two, um, not as many as I thought, that one need, just needs one, and I'm not sure what this last one is, so I'm going to have to figure that out, um, I've lost count already, I think that's three, four, five, and six, so I think we've got six complete categories out of 14, so yes, we're almost there. Uh, we are now 83%, so that's 4%. We did start at 79, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we've we've gone up 4%. And it does get a lot trickier now because there are so many different combinations that you can do. Um, 
But yes, yeah, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. As always, if you've got suggestions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you next time, where we will be creating more animals. Goodbye!